When I was 16, I downloaded Bear the Musical and I listened to it straight through and I cried in my bed because I realized that I was gay. At first, I, I, I was taken back by it. I was like, I don't want to be that. And I was like, I, I want to be normal. And I kept telling myself, I want to be normal. It was something that I had known uh, about myself for a very long time. People assumed I was gay, and so I got a lot of uh, faggot and queer thrown my way. I decided that if I wanted to escape that or if I wanted to rise above it, I had to be brave and um, come out. That Valentine's Day, I told my mom that I was going to go spend it with a boy, and I gave her the link to listen to the music from Bear so that she might understand it a little bit more. She cried, I cried. It was important that they knew who I was and knew uh, that I was happy and content with um, my sexuality. They were very supportive and very loving and always 100% accepting and I think that certainly helped me um, come to terms with who I am and helped me be proud of who I am, more importantly. I was fortunate enough to grow up with very supportive parents who were always telling me to be myself and be who I wanted to be. When I came out to the priest on campus, he said, essentially, God loves everyone. I guess I would consider myself a straight ally. We're just people, and people falling in love with people, and it doesn't matter the sex of the person that you fall in love with. Being gay is really only, you know, kind of one aspect of who I am. I'm a male, I'm a Canadian, my background is both Chinese and Japanese, I'm gay, um, I love broccoli, and I like Brussels sprouts. You know, National Coming Out Day, I think, is so important, and it's just to celebrate people being themselves.